Hey there guys and gals and welcome back to the D4A channel. For our first video in the new year we have another really cool piece that's going to expand the collection of aftermarket parts to be installed on my bike carb converted 4AG engine. So what is this thing? Now if you're a 4AG geek you will probably notice that this is not a standard 4AG part. So this means that this is not an aftermarket improvement of something that already exists on the 4AG, it's a brand new thing. Now, if you're an even bigger 4AG geek, you will probably notice that this is something that belongs on the heavily modified 4AG engines as found in Japan's N2 class race series of the late 80s and also as found in the 4AG engines in the Formula Atlantic race cars. Now that pretty much makes this thing as cool as it gets in the 4AG world. So this little thing is cool, but what does it do? Now, it doesn't give you any horsepower or improved throttle response or anything like that. This is a cam belt stabilizer, which means it stabilizes your cam belt. I know, I know, you're gonna say, who cares about stabilizing your cam belt? Well, that's because you do not know how useful and important cam belt stabilizing can be. So let's take a look at the 4AG engine. Specifically, let's take a look at the cam belt or the timing belt. Now, if you look at the timing belt on the exhaust side of the engine, you will see that it's largely unsupported on this side of the engine. Now, this is not an issue at all, as long as you do not significantly modify your 4AG engine and don't drive it like a maniac. But once you start modifying your 4AG engine and driving it more aggressively, not on public roads, of course, this side of the timing belt will actually flap around when you suddenly release the throttle. Now that is a bad thing and in some cases it can even result in your timing belt skipping a tooth. And this will turn the 4AG from being underpowered to being stupidly underpowered. Now on my 4AG I do have my Technotoy tuning uh, cam gears. Now I intend to install the Technotoy tuning set of uh, pulleys, I also have my CAD cams uh, camshafts, I have increased my compression, I have my uh, HKS uh, valve springs, I also have ported, uh, ported and polished my head, but all of that still doesn't make my 4AG anywhere near the level of tuning and modification that goes into an N2 series 4AG or the Formula Atlantic 4AG. But I still did experience my uh, timing belt skipping a tooth when I first rebuilt my 4AG. Now this happened because I was using the stock tension adjustment spring that goes on the idler pulley uh, in case of the 4AG. Now I cannot for sure say whether this happened because the spring was old and stretched or whether my mechanical skills were simply too low at that point. But the fact was that even after readjusting the time belt several times, it would always skip a tooth and it would always happen when I suddenly release the throttle above 5000 rpm or so. I could clearly hear the engine change tone and I would lose absolutely all of the power because my timing would go, you know, crazy. Now, how did I solve this? Well, I did it by getting rid of the stock uh, tension adjustment spring and adjusting the tension of my timing belt by hand. How I did this, I got a big fat screwdriver and I pried against the uh, idler pulley to adjust the timing belt tension. Now of course after this my timing belt never skipped a tooth. Now if you have a heavily modified 4AG, get, even getting a brand new uh, tension adjustment spring won't help you and your timing belt will flap around when you release the throttle and it might even skip a tooth, which of course is a bad thing. Now, how did tuners solve this problem? They solved it in the same way as I did in my case, which is by manually adjusting the tension of the timing belt. Now, it solved the problem of the timing belt flap and the tooth skipping, but it creates two additional problems which are pretty bad. Number one is by manually tightening, adjusting the tension of your timing belt, you are going to over tighten it. What this means is that you are going to accelerate the wear of your timing belt, which can then cause your timing belt to snap prematurely, and we all know how a snapped timing belt can be really, really bad. Too much tension on the timing belt also isn't good for other parts of the engine, and most notably your crankshaft and your number one main bearing, 
Why? Because by over-tensioning the belt, you are actually moving your crankshaft a tiny, tiny amount upward, and this reduces the clearance between your crankshaft main journal and your number one main bearing. Now, this is most noticeable and the number one main bearing because that's where the timing belt's pulling force is the strongest. Now, bearing clearances, as you probably know, are really tight and your crankshaft undergoes some serious stress during dri driving, which is why negatively influencing these tolerances in any way is, of course, a pretty stupid idea. It's right here that this little guy steps in and solve this whole conundrum. It's installed right on that unsupported side of the timing belt and it prevents it from flapping around when you release the throttle and also, of course, prevents it from ever skipping a tooth. Now, what this means, it means that you can run your timing belt at its normal tension, which prolongs the life of your timing belt and prolongs the life of your engine, which is always, of course, an awesome thing. So, as I told you, it doesn't make any horsepower, but it makes your horsepower last longer, which is sometimes just as important. Now, let's take a closer look at this N2 style cam belt stabilizer. As you can see, it reads MRP on it. Now, MRP stands for Manon Racing Products. Manon Racing Products is a company from New Zealand that specializes in 4AG performance parts and builds some of the coolest 4AGs I have ever seen. From turbo builds and high revving race builds to 7AG builds and anything else you can imagine done to the 4AG platform. Now, if you like the 4AG engine, definitely check out Manon Racing Products and I promise you will be more than impressed. Now, the original Campbell stabilizers on the N2 and Formula Atlantic race engines were, of course, custom-made solutions specifically for those engines and were never released to the aftermarket, which is, as far as I know, um, what makes the MRP Campbell stabilizer the only 4AG Campbell stabilizer readily available on the aftermarket. And it's such a high quality part that I think it wouldn't be out of place even on the most extreme race spec 4AG engines. As you can see, the finish on this thing is simply perfect. The bolting hardware seems to be top notch and the bearing itself is made by NTN, which is a very reputable bearing company that manufactures original equipment for many car brands. Another great thing about the MRP cam belt stabilizer is that you can buy it in the front wheel drive or the rear wheel drive version, which means that you can install this thing on any 4AG powered car. As you can see, I got the front wheel drive version even though my MR2 is a rear wheel drive car. Now, don't let this confuse you because when it comes to the 4AG, front wheel drive and rear wheel drive actually has more to do with the transfers versus longitudinal engine placement. The 4AG is placed transversely in all of the front wheel drive 4AG cars and in the MR2. The MR2 AW11 of course being the only rear wheel drive car with the engine placed transversely. I know, confusing, right? So if you buy this cam belt stabilizer for your AW11, make sure to order the front wheel drive one because that's the one that will fit alongside your transverse engine mount bracket in your MR2. Another thing worth noting are the three different possible positions for the bearing. Now, these are used actually in the case of the 7AG engine, which needs to use a different timing belt to the 4AG engines. So regardless of what kind of 4AG or 4AG mutant you have, this thing is going to fit. So that's it when it comes to the unboxing and short review of this cool cam belt stabilizer from Manon Racing Products. To sum it all up, this thing will prevent your timing belt from flapping around, which will prevent it from ever skipping a tooth, and it will enable you to run your timing belt at its normal tension, which will prolong your timing belt life and your engine life. So definitely all very cool features that I'll be very much looking forward to have on my 4AG engine. Also, it has its roots in the N2 and Formula Atlantic race series, which pretty much makes it instantly cool and makes my 4AG a bar bike carb converted into wannabe engine, which I guess is also kind of cool. Also, this isn't the last you're going to see of this little guy because I will be assembling my 4AG relatively soon and I'll be installing this thing. And this is going to be, of course, a great opportunity to make a nice detailed installation video of this thing. So I guess that's pretty much it for today, for today guys. 
Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on the D4A channel.